welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video we card that's coming up is has been covered previously but it has been covered uh, uh, from green light and the previous generation so I really did like it uh, it is this one but it's not this one it's this is the uh, green light uh, bear Jackson I believe it's number nine or sorry me come auctions you can see there and this is the Plymouth GTX. This is, I believe, the 1969-1970 version of the car. As we can see right there. So if you want to go watch that, 2007 casting, GL29C. Uh, and the Hemi engine. This is that. So for this video, we will be just doing the abbreviated version from Mattel. It is the next generation, the 1971. And as we can see, this one is a 440 as by what is written up here. Otherwise, it does not say, and this is the 1971 Plymouth GTX, obviously from Mattel and Musclemania. Number seven out of 10 from that series, and 166 out of 250 for the overall basic line series. And so there we see the basic cut down of it. It does have the GTX on the side there, hot wheels, and the signal lights on the back and the front there. I do like the nose. So I'm hoping that eventually uh, I will find one in a more premium, not totally premium, but more premium version of this car. And then this is all the normal stuff we know. Small parts will be generated, empowering the next generation through play, and all the licensing information, as well as Chrysler. Plymouth, finally FCA, although it is not Stellantis, and it's 2022 from last year. Made in Malaysia, but it is 2021, the uh, card itself. Sorry about that. So, let's just get, get out of the box. Like I said, they do come with... I'm on the fence with Hot Wheels Premiums now. There's certain things they do okay, but then the paint job is usually crap. So, anyway, here's the 440 as on the box. So, this is obviously that engine and not the Hemi. There is the very, obviously everything here is stamped and then just painted over. But we do see nicely into the interior. It has a silver lined on, and you can see the silver all over, all over the inside there. It's basically this color, the chrome. And so I guess besides that, oh, there's the Plymouth on the back, which is really nice. It's hard to see because it's the uh, orange on orange, L1 lighter version onto their version. And so here we have door handles, keyhole, GTX, painted rather nicely, the turn signals, the end of the stripes from the hood. It's the right side of the car. We go to the back, absolutely nothing. Uh, just the stampings, plastic on the bottom, chrome shaped. There is the trunk, Plymouth, like I said, we go to the right side. Uh, I don't see where the imprint or the move, sorry, the cutout for the gas cap is. Anyway, and clearly we can see the wheels. Sorry, I from the other side as well. The small, the front wheels are smaller than the back wheels, and they're wider as well. And then we go to the front. Unfortunately, it is obviously metal, so it's very plainly done. It is just a stamping, no lights, no inserts, nothing else. It still looks nice though. It's just not uh, differentiated as much. Even this one, I mean, it's painted, but it is cut toned differently. Like I said, this is the previous generation. The rolling rectangle. This one is more along the lines of design elements, design cues have changed. It's a little bit smoother in terms of the surface. And then finally, we go to the bottom. FCA 2020. Uh, for and, But obviously, we can see there is a recasting. Recasting we release uh, from Mattel. So we have the package telling us 2021. Licensing telling us 2022. Manufacturing telling us 2020. But the original is 20, 2001. Anyway. We have there the differential, there's the drive shaft. Sorry, the drive shaft is invisible. There is the uh, differential back there, transfer case there, because the engine is obviously right here, and these wheels don't do anything except turn. And then there's the dual exhaust for the car. Uh, other than those two, there's nothing else to separate it from the uh, back there, you can see right there. And then S08 for the release. So made in Malaysia, Mattel, Hot Wheels. 1971 Plymouth GTX, everything that was on the package uh, we find here on the bottom of the car, which is great because there are certain versions of cars where they will have more on the package than they do on the car. And as always, 
rolls extremely well, as all my tails do. Well, this green light actually rolled very well as well. Uh, it is significantly heavier. And uh, they did borrow some of the styling cues from there, like it'll say hand me there, and like how it says 440 there. Anyway, fans and friends, this is the 1971 Plymouth GTX from Mattel's main line, also their Muscle Mania, number 7 out of 10. This is Thomas from Toronto, and thanks for watching.